Hello, I'm just going to do a quick tour around the Verzi Helios and just show a few people what sort of it, what, what's on it because it's a, always been shrouded in a little bit of mystery. This, you know, the Klaus Wunderlich organ, the Klaus Wunderlich organ, I, I apologise. Um, and what this organ did, there was not a great lot of publicity in the same way that other makes like Yamaha were doing it around the town. Well anyway they were made it around started production around about 1976 I believe. It's totally analog circuitry. Right, so what the first thing I'm gonna do, you'll probably notice on here, we've got rows of fixed stops here, tabs. Uh, these are for the upper upper manual keyboard and these are for the lower manual. And we've also got draw bars, set of draw bars, so it's almost like two organs in one. Well let's have a listen to the draw bars first. Um, now these are on sort of dry now, I've not got them going through any filters, so there's a pedal there. Um, this is the kind of dry sound we get. Now I'm going to put them through this section here called the Verzi voice. Now the Verzi voice has two modes of operation. You can use it as a le as a rotary speaker simulator, Leslie. It doesn't sound exactly like a Leslie, of course, but it does have a nice sound. So in the world mode, we have the Leslie. Now to actually channel the draw bars to the Leslie uh, to the um, Verzi voice section, we use this. So here's what the draw bars sound like on the fast rotary. <laughs> If we slow it down you get a sound like this. That effect, the pitch bend effect, on Verzi was called slalom. And the nice thing about it is it stays, it doesn't flick back like on a, on a modern pitch bend. You can set it wherever you want. So there we have that. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens on the fixed stops. We'll move over to those and switch the draw bars off. So that is the controller of that switch there to switch into the fixed stops mode. Now the fixed stops tabs, we've got a number of these, violin, trumpet, and what you can do with these is you can use them as solo instruments or put them through the Verzi voice section in the choir mode to add string effects you know, which sends the instrumental sound through the bucket brigades delay lines. Let's come back to the fixed stops again. You can see from left to right many of the tab switches. Um, some of them are special effects in which you can put the fixed stops through. You've got a long selection, broad selection of instrumental sounds on the fixed stops, like trumpets, violins, things like that. Now you can set them up to use a solo instrument by adding vibrato and slow attack. Let's have a look, just as an example. Let's put the, um, let's use the clarinet. Now this is a square waveform for those who know a little bit about synthesis. You've got combined waveforms in their raw form as sawtooth and square waves and other, other types of waveforms, but the clarinet is a square wave. Now this is how it sounds like in its dry tone without any vibrato or anything. Now it's a, it's a bit of a kind of a coarse sound so what I'm going to do I'm going to go over to the, the section over here where the sustains are for the upper manual and add slow attack, attack delay and it causes the note to soften. As you press the key down it's, it's almost now it's, that's starting to sound better already, but when we add over here as a vibrato section, 
vibrato number two and delayed vibrato we get a sound like this you can use the um, slalom control to get effects So on and so on and so on. Um, you can now we've set those up. You can switch from there to a violin or any other sound. Now what I'm going to do is, is sh um, we'll go back to the Versi voice again and channel the fixed stops through the Versi voice. But this time we're going to switch the Versi voice into the choir mode, and we'll add a little bit of sustain. And we should get something like something similar to a string orchestra type of sound. Now, what's happening here is there's um, a multiplier effect called a BBD chip, um, which slightly detunes and adds mod modulation to that um, violin sawtooth uh, raw waveform and you get that uh, kind of a uh, shimmery sound almost like hearing a, an analog type synthesizer string orchestra sound and you get a, a bigger kind of a, a sound and it, it, all, it also works somewhat with the with the brass and the trombones <laughs> With brass, um, see what happens if we take the sustain off it. You... For an old fashioned brass band sound, you're probably better without a Versi voice on at all. Let's move over to the um, special effects. Now we, we can channel the uh, fixed stops through these effects. Uh, there are a number of uh, there's a number of effects on here we can use. We can use a wah, um, manual wah wah. Or use the wah wah inversion to do a reverse. These grey draw bars over here, as well as just enabling you to adjust the special effects volume, the piano volume and upper manual and lower manual, you can also apply set various different rates for the special effects. Um, there's two for the wah wah. So let's see which one. I've not played around with this for a while, but I think it's. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the wah wah speed. Looking deeper into these special effects, I've switched back the clarinet fixed stop on again. So I wanted to show you something here. If you uh, apply the special effects and then put them through the Versi voice, you can get even more effects. One of the effects I've set up here from the Versi voice is to put them, put the Versi voice into the um, chorale mode, the slow, and also put the intensity control into heavy and, and soft at the same time. Now having these three on together gets you a kind of a flanger type effect. Um, the clarinet without all the flan uh, without the flange sounds like. That's through the flanges, so you can you can hear it sort of phasing and so on and so on. I'm not going to play Magic Fly, <laughs> but um, 
So basically, that's the special effects. You you can also put um, varying degrees of vary anything as much as you want through that wah wah specials section. You can apply repeat on to get um, banjo effects and and things like that and uh, strumming guitars. In fact, there was a guitar effects board specially made which was an add-on kit you know an optional kit it i've not got the guitar section on here unfortunately but it went on to the ef2 board which stands for effects board 2 and it turned the trans it turned the um fixed stops into sort of plucked plucked sound and it sounded more like a clavinet actually i thought the uh, like the old only clavinet and particularly on the trombone tab. Um, also on the um, fixed stops we can apply, there's a button which sounds like a cleaning um, a cleaning substance and it's called GIF. But what it actually does is apply, um, apply breath to a sound. Now this works best if we put on that 8 tibia. We can give it a bit of soft. We switch the GIF on. Can you hear that? There should be a wire actually, which um, goes from that to, to the vibrato, so it so it uh, modulates the the breath the breath sound. To make it sound a bit more like a, a natural instrument playing. Mm. Let's have a look at the piano section now, which is over here. Now, as it says piano section, you've not just got piano, you've got a number of other instruments as well. You've got banjo, which sounds like... You've got a celesta, which is kind of an old-fashioned keyboard instrument. Kinyora. And then the piano itself. Honky Tonk. And harpsichord. Now we can do other things with these as well. We can we can put them through the Versi voice, piano to Versi voice. I'm going to turn the piano volume down a bit because for some reason when you put it the piano section through the Versi voice the volume goes up rapid, um, somewhat. It's going through the slow. Or through the choir. I think I like it on the slow section. Particularly if you put the honky tonk through here. Also add sustain tremolo. See what that does. I think by adjusting the rate here, you can get the echo rate. I think you can get it to the echo thing to on the piano to modulate faster there. 